Hey guys, it's Leia. Today I'll be giving an introduction to integrals as well as talking about the constant rule. What does integration mean? Integration is the reverse of finding a derivative. We use integration to find the area under the curve or volume of a solid. As we get to more advanced topics, we'll learn about talking about the volume of a solid. For now, we'll just focus on finding the area under a curve. Before integration, we learn how to find the area under a curve using Riemann sums, where we add the area of rectangles together. Using integration will give us a more accurate answer. So what do I mean by integration is the reverse of finding the derivative? Well, here we have 2x. When we take the derivative, we get 2. So the reverse of taking the derivative means we are given 2. We take the integral and we get 2x. Don't forget we have to add plus c when taking the integral because we don't know if there was a constant c there initially. When you take the derivative of a constant, you get 0. This is the syntax for an integration statement. It reads the integral of f of x with respect to x is f of x plus c. This is the integral symbol. Sometimes we'll see it with an a and a b, which are the bounds of the function, but we are focusing on indefinite integrals today. f of x is our integrand. d of x is our integration variable. It tells us along what axis we are taking the area of. f of x is the antiderivative. The derivative of the antiderivative is our integrand. C is our constant. Don't forget to add C. Not adding C is a popular mistake. We'll now learn about the simplest integration rule, the constant rule. If we are given the integral of A, which is any constant, with respect to X, then the antiderivative is simply AX plus C. This is because the derivative of AX with respect to X is A. Now let's see an example. We have the integral of the square root of 2 with respect to x. We keep in mind the constant rule, and we get the square root of 2 times x plus c. Now let's check our answer. We'll take the derivative of the antiderivative. So we take the derivative of the square root of 2 times x plus c, and we get the square root of 2, which is our integrand. That means this answer is right. One more example, we have the integral of negative 12 with respect to x. We multiply an x to negative 12 and add plus c. There's our answer. But now we'll check our answer. We'll do this by taking the derivative of the antiderivative. So we take the derivative of negative 12x plus c, and we get negative 12, which is our integrand. So that means our answer is right.